Welcome back guys, this is Legit Lee back again with another video. Today I'm showing you guys how I'm making my Z-Access motors. I went ahead and got, um, I'm not going to be able to use the 17, the NEMA 17s. I bought me some NEMA 23s for the stepper motor, uh, stepper motors for my Z-Access. And it's because I needed more torque and these will definitely give me the torque I need and um, basically the power I need. And the good, th the weird thing about this, well, it's a good thing. I ordered these off of eBay, and the seller sent me by mistake the NEMA 17 motor. So I took pictures of it and messaged him back, sent him the pictures, told him he sent me the wrong ones. He sent me a message back, told me I could keep the 17 motors, and he will send me the 23s also. So he sent me the 23s. I got those in like two days later, I believe, and um. It was really quick. I appreciate him doing that for me. Um, I did connect. These are uh, used motors. And I got them from like 13 bucks a piece. And uh, well actually I got like four motors now for like 13 bucks a piece. So it cost me like $20, $30, whatever. And um, I see I was trying to show you guys that these are six a uh, six wire pole here. And what that is it uses you can use half of the power of the motor. Or you can use full. So like A1 and A2 are these two blue ones. And B1 and B2 are these two blue ones. But you can use A1 and then this middle wire right here to have half of the power. Or uh, you can use and the same thing for the B side here. You can use those two wires. But I want the full power out of my motor. So... I'm using all four of the blue wires on here. And then I have this um, DuPont connector. It is I made it myself. I have this um, DuPont connector wiring kit here. It is uh, males, females. It has a bunch of the wiring connector pieces back here that you can see these are the ones that I'm using, the four pins. And um, so with that being said, I made these. The reason why I didn't attach my wire here and this is um i think a 22 gauge rgb light wire i got from um ebay also it came really quick i got it from miami and i live in florida so it was like two three days or something like that before i got it and um so what i was trying to say was the reason why i have the connector on here for a pin out instead of just connecting these straight to the um wires that are on here and then soldering them and heat shrink and all that it, the reason why I have it set like that is because these motors aren't new and depending on how long I have my um, my 3d printer I would love to use it practically forever so I was thinking about longevity of everything so if my motor did go out say like this one went out or this one or both of them or anything like that I would be able to swap out the motors using my pin headers here all I have to do instead of taking out the whole wire clipping everything and doing stuff like that I would just connect the female part right here to this male part right here to the female that's over here and then if it ever burnt out or anything like that ha happened I could easily swap this out and keep my wiring and put a new one in and it'll be a super simple and quick easy fix so I don't have to worry about my motors going out so it's literally push in and pull out of a motor there so I won't have to worry about those and um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my 3d printer that I'm building here from scratch I went back to square one and redid the whole entire frame it's still the same design but I'm using um, aluminum square rods instead of the actual wood that you've seen in the previous videos and the reason why is because I just felt like I wasn't going to be able to get the sturdiness that I wanted out of the printer. Even with all the upgrades I would have done to make it more sturdy, I just didn't feel like it would be sturdy enough like I would if it was made out of aluminum. So I know I was going cheap at first, but I went ahead and spent about 60 bucks on some aluminum rods to make the whole frame. And it's basically a, a complete square and then one square going up for the Z-axis. And um, I, so I already have that made and I will be posting that on Twitter soon. I'll show some pictures on Twitter before I make the video. So please follow me on Twitter at, at Lee Velez, at, basically at Twitter at Lee Velez there. 
just follow me on there you guys will see those pictures i'll i'll be posting those sh soon and um so the next thing i wanted to mention about the printer is if you guys haven't been looking at my videos lately i've been building up to this um point it's kind of like a series building into a overall conclusion basically and that's what i was trying to go with you know how like you'll see um for instance i don't know like an avengers movie or something you'll see like the first avengers movie second avengers movies and it's building up to the major finale of stuff so that's why i was going with for my 3d printing videos and stuff you uh, if you haven't remembered or seen i made a video of how to make the amazon echo the alexa actually control a 3d printer's lcd control board and um so with that that's going to be implemented into my big 3d printer build um this is going to be one of the biggest and most intense 3d printers you'll probably ever see lately coming out because it's going to have voice control from alexa the amazon echo dot it's going to have an octopi server put into it it will have a ramps mks board the all-in-one board and um and it will have an SD card slot built in also so I can print from either voice control, web control from the OctoPrint or um, actual using the buttons on the printer using and storing it onto the SD card. So I'll have multiple options of how to print and how I want to go about it. So that way I'll have, I like having that option just in case anything was to go wrong or something of that sort you know if i don't have my wi-fi going at the moment then obviously i can't use alexa or the octo print at that time or say like because you know if some people's internets fail or whatever and um so with that being said i'll be able to use everything so voice control web control and regular button control also and it will have a graphics controller i don't i'm not going to make it a full graphics controller just because i have to, i will have to go back into the coding and tweak the code a lot to have it set up for instead of being push button switches it'll be set for the whole um potentiometer that you would spend to get to the settings for everything and that right there will be a little more complicated for me um, so I'm not going to go about it just yet. I will try to in a nearby future on how to get it set up for a full graphics controller. I just, I'm not going to do it at the moment. I want to just get my printer up and running first before I do that. And, um, so you'll see everything. It, the printer is like, a, uh, it's a 400 millimeter squared for the heated bed. And then the, it's, I think almost four foot for the Z height. So, literally, it's going to be a really big printer. It's like the size of one of the CR10s, the Creality CR10s printers, but a lot bigger for the Z height. Because I think the biggest one they had that I remember was 500 millimeters. It may be a, a thousand millimeters. I don't really remember how big they get. But I know that my printer is pretty much that, that height. I think it is a thousand millimeters or more. So, um, I definitely want you guys to definitely be like looking out for those videos. Please hit that like button, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think there. Um, hit that notification button and make sure, you know, when you do subscribe, you hit that notification button. So that way you guys, you guys will be able to see all the videos that I'm putting out. There's a whole bunch of projects that I have lined up in the f nearby future here for a 3d printing, um, Electronics control for stepper motors, for instance, because I have four extra NEMA 17 stepper motors. I'll be making camera sliders with them. I'll be making um, different 3D printers. And I am thinking about uh, starting up a 3D printer that will be solar powered also, because I do have a solar, po uh, solar panel and a uh, deep cycle battery that I bought years ago that is just pretty much laying around at the moment. So definitely be looking out, guys. I do have a lot of stuff coming out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I will be doing giveaways still also. So I won't put that in the video description. I'm just going to make a video, and then at the end, I will tell you if I'm doing a giveaway for whatever it is that I'm 3D printing. If I like it, and I feel like somebody else would want one, I'll make two of them, 3D print two of them, and then send that out. Or if I have um, extra motors or extra anything like how i did uh for these stepper motors here if i decided i want to give one of those away i definitely will also 
well, this is legitly, and I'm signing out. You guys have a great day.